All right, I have an Alto Sham rotisserie oven that I'm going to show you how to remove the service panel and change the ignition kit on it, the spark ignition kit. So first thing, disconnect the power, gas is off. Okay, do not remove this front panel where the knobs are. Okay, you're going to break the igniters. Um, you have to come in from inside, okay? So remove that grease collector tray and we're going to pull out all these bolts here. There's a ton of them, so I recommend putting an impact on there. I'm just going to fast forward through this really quickly just to speed things up, okay? And when you pull up this panel, pull it up nice and slowly. There is a gasket there. So in this case here, you can see I was not able to salvage it. I'm going to come back and change that. It's really sticky, that gasket. You really got to take your time. Half stuck to the unit, half stuck to the panel. That's okay. We'll get that gasket changed out. Okay, so next thing you want to do is disconnect the gas train. Okay, so they have these kind of flanges holding the gas train down. Okay, because you want the gas lines loose for when you try to pull out this front panel. Okay, you're going to pull out, there's about seven or eight bolts here holding this front panel in. Take the knobs out and then now you can slowly pull it out. You have a little bit of play from the gas line being loose at this point. Alright, make sure you're taking pictures of all the wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and change uh, all these igniter kits. So you take off both the wires. And there's like a metal tab here. I'm just going to slightly bend that metal tab. Now this switch is goes in upside down. Uh, it's kind of weird when you put it in. If you put it in upside down, it won't spark. So the word Mexico is written on it. Uh, that has to be in the down direction. It looks like it's upside down. But what I do is I just mark it. So I mark the front, the top, and the back. And like I said, when you put the new one in, it actually looks like it's upside down. So make sure you're marking the one that you're removing. All right, so I'm just going to fast forward here. I'm going to remove all three of these ignition kit switches. These things are plastic, they're delicate, so just take your time with it when you're bending that metal tab. Okay, and then you want to put everything in the off position. They have to line up perfectly with that ignition switch. They're plastic, so any misalignment here will crack them. And I'm just going to confirm that is the down position. It is. Okay, now I'm going to go on every igniter and make sure it's in the down position. I'm going to line it up perfectly. Even if it's off by like 1 16th of a rotation, the thing won't line up and they'll, they'll try to break. Okay? So here's the difficult part. You're going to line up right on that gas valve shaft. You're just going to take your time here. Once you get them hanging on there, I find if you go from behind and you just move that little gas valve, you can eventually get it into the position you want. So right now that gas train's loose so I can move it pretty easily. If that gas train's not loose right now, you will not be able to line this up and you will break all those switches. So just line them up one at a time, take your time. These things do crack super easily. Once you get them lined up, you can see that middle one's slightly off, so I just turned it just the slightest amount. And now the third one. All right, they're all in. I can push it back now. We're all good, nothing broke. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start reassembling them. So I'm just going to test the operation really quickly, make sure they're not stiff or anything. It's good, we're in the correct position. Alright, so I'm going to start putting all the outside bolts back on. Let's tighten all those up. You still want to leave the gas train loose. You can still break these if that gas line's tightened. So I got that all on, now I'm going to go tighten all these bolts on the gas line, make sure everything's good and tight. And the adjustment on this is very finicky, so just make sure the gas train's loose, okay? So we're gonna start with the uh, top. 
top one. So if you want to do the do it, show the spark actually. Yeah. Ready? Nice. Go to the middle, yeah. let me just show this quickly. And then let's show the spark. Spark. Finally, we're going to go lower. Spark. And then we're going to turn it to low so that we can do our gas test. So, yeah, because of the camera angle it looks like my head's really close to that lower burner I'm I'm really far away from it it's just the uh, the angle we're on I'm nowhere close to it so because we move the gas line you want to just make sure nothing came loose and then you want to test inside of these valves it doesn't take much for something to come loose in there just give it a just a quick sniff we're all good no leaks so I'm gonna reassemble that service panel back in like I said, I'm going to come back with a gasket on this one. And we're running. We're all good. Everything's reassembled.